All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol HYLN, Hylion Holdings Corp. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So, Hylion Holdings Corp fell down to newer lows and it hit around 2020, uh, excuse me, 2120. And from that point forward, it started to run itself up. I mean, that was very volatile. It jumped down about a whole dollar and 95 cents from our support here at 22.95, and from that point forward, it started to bring itself back up. Now, what's interesting is how volatile it was. Now, that is one of the lowest new points that this stock reached after this bullish run. We needed to pay close attention to it, how it reacted after it broke through support, and even after it broke through 21.71. 2170 give or take and it did but it quickly recovered after that so very interesting day for the bulls here because of the fact that even though the bears appeared the bulls have turned this whole chart around i mean they've even ended up back above the 50-day moving average and the 50-day moving average is 2311 super important number to keep in mind 2311 as long as we're above it we're in bullish territory the moment we're below it we're in bearish territory so we're gonna have to pay close attention to how this reacts because this volatility here is not healthy i mean it's very unhealthy to be honest for the chart because if it went up that fast and it went down that fast as fast as it went up it can go down again so the bulls are really going to have to consolidate up here or stay above the 50-day moving average to show that this was a healthy recovery and prove that they're actually gaining control again here of the chart because this can go either way. And that's where we're going to look at our new points of reference and what's important for tomorrow. We still want to keep in mind too that now this is the lowest point that this stock has reached in this whole entire trajectory of the last couple of days and that's 2120 i'd write that down that's the lowest point the highest point is from yesterday at 2485 so you want to keep those two numbers in mind for the next coming days and weeks according to how the volatility takes this stock up or takes it in a downward direction so let's go ahead and move our support and resistance to their new location so our new support is actually one of the points where this was actually on its way up and the bears try to reappear and stop this from continuing to go up they leveled it off but the bulls continued the run and here's our highest point within the last couple of hours of the day and we're going to look at that resistance because this is the most important point right now for the bulls to reach newer highs and continue to pull further away from the 50 day moving average of 2311 in an upward direction. That resistance level is 2405. Super important point for the bulls. They need to break through 2405. They need to turn that into a support, break away from it, reach newer highs reach new resistance levels and start to hit newer levels of resistance deeper into bullish territory. Super important for the bulls to do so and pull away from the 50 day moving average. I want to emphasize this, that the bulls need to break through 2405 to maintain and continue this momentum that we see here and to maintain the slight momentum that they've had in the last hour and a half above the 50 day moving average super important to keep that in mind now on the other hand we have what the bears want and the bears first goal isn't even this support it's breaking through 23 11 and turning that into a resistance ending up below it to be in bearish territory and continue to pull this down closer to support and our support level is 2233 if the bears accomplish breaking through 2233 they're pulling this further away from the 50-day moving average 
They're getting deeper into bearish territory. And I want to emphasize to all investors, pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting. How quickly did it get down there? And how quickly is it pushing through it? Because if it gets broken through and it continues the trajectory of moving quickly to newer lows, then the bears are dominating this chart and the bulls are not having even an opportunity to get back up into bullish territory. Now, you also want to pay close attention if this breaks through support and if the bulls decide to reappear because if the bulls reappear does not signify that they've gained control but they can stop this from hitting newer lows bring it back up and start a momentum again but it's going to be much harder for the bulls to break through the 50 day moving average and resistance from way down here so you're going to want to pay close attention to the behavior of the stock how it's reacting how quickly is it moving down to newer lows and if the bulls are actually reappearing. Those are the most important key factors in how this is playing out and what is going on with the chart. So pay close attention to those cues. I want to emphasize again that the bulls need to break through 2405, turn that into a support to hit newer highs and maintain the momentum of staying above the 50 day moving average. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit that like button to let me know you watch this video. So I want to go ahead and do a trivia question. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you guys for making it this far. But not only that, thank yourselves because this information is very valuable. So I want to ask, what is the lowest point reached between yesterday and today and why is it important i would want to see your guys' comments down below on that and what was the highest point reached yesterday to today and why is it important for the next coming days and weeks i look forward to seeing your guys' comments down below and answers and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. at the end of this video there's going to be a pop-up video in that video i will be discussing about the s p 500 index and how it's been rising several points on scheduled dates these scheduled dates are the dates that the federal reserve is pumping the markets and by doing so the s p 500 index rises up with it several points what does that mean for us as investors well if the s p 500 index is rising up several points there's individual ticker symbols within the S&P 500 index rising up with it. I know that it may seem like not a lot what I'm about to say, but these individual ticker symbols are rising up anywhere from 30 cents to $3 per share. Per share that does add up. And like I always say, profits are profits. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say about the video. It's going to pop up soon. I highly encourage you to check it out. It's very informative. And in the video, I don't guarantee profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news that there is an opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. Check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.